We begin with breaking news tonight. The Sweet Home School District in Lynn County choosing to shut down tomorrow after a threat has been made to the school. At 11 o'clock, I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Jeff Shianola. School officials say tomorrow's closure is a precautionary measure as law enforcement search to find out if that threat is credible. We do know that the threat was made by a minor who is not in the school district. Okay, and there's the timing of this. As meantime, earlier today in Vancouver, Fort Vancouver High School went on lockdown after a scare on campus over a rumor that a student had a gun on school property. And this was the third lockdown at a Vancouver area school just this week. Ariel Yakabazi spoke to parents today about their worries. Parents were certainly worried today, especially considering this was the third lockdown at a Vancouver school this week. The first lockdowns happening at Mountain View High School, one in the morning on Monday, a student was having a personal crisis. The second later that evening after two 18 year olds were arrested and they actually had guns. Now the parents that I spoke to today say they're thankful they were able to get live updates from their kids. First, I got a text from my son who said that they were on lockdown. As a parent, it's a text you hope to never get. He told me that they had their doors barricaded and doing their active shooter, uh, what they've learned to do um, in that situation. This mom taking to social media in hopes of more information on what was going down at Fort Vancouver High School Wednesday afternoon. One of the groups there and everybody was talking about it there. So except for they were saying, that it was an active shooter and that people were getting shot and this and that, so, which isn't true. In a message sent to Fort Vancouver parents, Principal Luis Catro Quintanilla says they went into lockdown at 2.14 up until 2.31 while they investigated a rumor about a student who may have a weapon on campus. Just a lot of, you know, different scenarios would be running through my head. Vancouver police were called and got to the school within minutes and one student was removed from class. Officers tell us they found no weapon on campus. This mom says she's thankful the rumors weren't true, but she says she takes issue with what was going on online. So I think that um, the problem is, is when people do post things that aren't true, it can just put a lot of unnecessary panic into people. It's just too bad that, you know, the kids and the parents have to worry about that these days. Fort Vancouver's principal says that they're also offering extended counseling services for students if they want to talk about anything that happened here at the school today. No word yet on if the student involved in today's incident is facing disciplinary action. Reporting in Vancouver tonight, Ariel Yakabazi, Coin 6 News.